In our previous segments, we explained what is an SD-WAN and the reasons why SD-WAN architectures are being adopted so quickly. In this segment, I'll keep the discussion at a pretty high level and explain how an SD-WAN works. Now, there are a lot of SD-WAN offerings in the marketplace which can make it really confusing for you. And there are a number of different underlying architectures. So I'll sometimes use our Silver Peak Unity Edge Connect implementation as an example. Okay, so how does an SD-WAN work? Well, first, in contrast to hardware-based, device-centric WANs based on traditional routers, an SD-WAN uses software to more intelligently route or steer traffic across the WAN. Instead of routing traffic based on TCP IP addresses and access control list tables, an SD-WAN is application aware. It handles traffic much more intelligently to provide the appropriate priority, quality of service, and security that your business needs dictate. Also, traditional routers often include specialized hardware, whereas most SD-WAN implementations run on off-the-shelf hardware, usually x86-based platforms, as well as virtual instances on industry standard servers, and even in public cloud services like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. We'll talk about extending SD-WAN into public clouds in a future segment of this series. Now, SD-WAN architecture decouples or logically separates the applications and the control and management functions from the WAN transport services like MPLS, broadband internet, LTE, and even satellite or microwave. In SDN speak, this is referred to as the separation of the control or management plane from the data forwarding plane. And here's where some of the architectures differ, so I'll now be referring to the Silver Peak SD-WAN implementation. Our implementation virtualizes all of the WAN services and treats them as a single resource pool. We then create virtual WAN overlays that we call business intent overlays that define the quality of service and the security policies for groups of applications according to business requirements. For example, we might define a business intent overlay for real-time applications like voice, video conferencing, call center applications, and perhaps even a stock price feed for a financial institution where the timeliness of information is critical. To this real-time overlay, we would assign any apps that must be delivered with high quality, high availability, and very low latency or delay. And we might have another overlay for applications that handle point of sale and credit card information. This overlay would be created to segment or isolate this traffic to help an organization meet compliance requirements. And other overlays might be created to deliver apps with different priority or different QoS or different security policies. The SD-WAN then steers traffic to its destination using the appropriate combination of WAN transport resources for those applications. A Silver Peak SD-WAN continuously monitors those transport services for throughput, packet loss, latency, and jitter, and continuously and automatically adapts how traffic is handled to ensure that business requirements for those applications are being met and to deliver the best quality of experience. Now, two other key features of an SD-WAN are centralized orchestration and zero-touch provisioning. By centralizing the configuration of an SD-WAN as well as the application performance and security policies, enterprises can significantly reduce WAN operational expenses. And with zero-touch provisioning, configurations and policies are programmed once and pushed to tens or hundreds or even thousands of branch locations without having to manually program each device. This eliminates that truck roll or the need to send specialized IT resources out to branch locations whenever a new app is added or a policy is changed. This also reduces human errors, which results in more consistent policies across the enterprise. And this more intelligent, software-defined approach to building wide area network infrastructure improves the quality of experience for users and for IT, it improves business productivity and agility, and it can lower WAN transport costs and IT administrative costs. We'll see you soon on another segment.